of you are in this auditorium tonight and nobody carried you into this auditorium. Whether you came in with a walking stick or in a wheelchair, but as long as nobody forced you into this room or had to carry you on a hospital bed to bring you here. Listen, if you have life in you, if there is blood flowing through you, if God has not denied you life, can I get you to put your hands together and bless the name of the Lord? There, there, there are so many things we take for granted. A very simple thing like breathing, we take for granted. But then you get a cold and you cannot breathe through your nose. And then you see how important breathing is. And so if you are in this auditorium, you have no oxygen on, you are not on a life support, but you are breathing, open your mouth and begin to give God praise because he is
I just want to make sure that you are hearing everything okay. Because I'm not here to have a concert. I am here to join you, you join me, to lift up worship to God. And so I like to do this with you, if that is okay. The same key, not, not the stem, just the key. You are able, more than able, also able.
for you. For I know the thoughts I have for you. Plans of good and none of evil. To bring you hope and a future. To bring you to an expected end. So I sat here and I watched the drama that went on. And I could see the enemy planning and scheming to thwart your future. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And so God has a plan for you. You are not in this auditorium by accident. Ah. You are not here by accident. God has a plan for you. You are going to step out into the next year because you have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit with you everywhere you go. He is a faithful God. And so do not let social media and all its hula balloons take away your future. Because God knows the plans he has for you. Plans of good, not of evil. So bring you to an expected end. Listen, when we walk in the perfect will of God, everything will work in our favor. Your presence here is because of you are walking in the perfect will of God. Listen, 2020 is a great year.
We let your name We let your name We let your name We let your name Father we let your name
Yet it's young and tin. A brother, ye dear. That ye dear, 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 of the greatness of God in 2020 because I have found myself with the word of God so much that I don't fear who
the devil will try his
forget. But thank you tonight that we are seeing the year of 2019 and you are definitely taking us into 2020. And you who have begun with us, you are faithful. He is faithful. And so be glorified tonight. Be magnified. And be thou exalted. Listen, after this encounter, after youth adoration this year, tonight, to be precise, you, you're going through those doors and people will see you and ask you what happened. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything. They will just know. Do you know what that is called? Yeah. It's called the glory of the Lord. And so when they ask you what happened, tell them that you met in St. Shreni The destiny changer, the lifter up of our heads, the one who picks somebody from the Mary clay and sets their feet on a higher ground. And people begin to wonder what happened. Listen, jaws are going to drop. Or will be the one who says, and you're going to wonder, I don't know how to It's because the glory of the Lord.
are here. You will begin to heal the sick. You will begin to bring hope to the hopeless. Bring life to anything that is dead. Wake every sleeping soul up. Open doors to your people. Open the floodgates of heaven. Pour onto your people manifold blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus.
Oh, oh, oh.